And it looks like we're rolling here. So I just wanted to welcome everybody. My name's Dusty Duncan. For those of you that don't know who I am, I'm a Sapphire Ambassador, blessed to be part of the uh, Freedom Team with all the other great leaders and team members we have on, um, on this awesome team. So um, tonight we have two great speakers, Aspen Garcia and Maddie Williamson. And you're going to hear Aspen's life-changing testimony. And then you're going to hear some great tips from, from Maddie. Oh, that's so sweet. Somebody said, we love you, Dusty. Well, I love you all too, because guys, we know as leaders of this team that we are nothing without our awesome team members and ambassadors that roll right alongside us, not underneath us, but right alongside us in this great growth um, and company in Plexus. And we just love that we're just changing people's lives and helping people on a daily basis. And we just want nothing but the best for each and every one of you. Um, Let's see here. Aspen, are you on the line yet? If you are, you can unmute yourself anytime. Oh, I see her. I see you, Aspen. Are you ready to speak for us? I can see you in your beautiful red hair. Can you hear me, Aspen? You just you just muted yourself, Aspen. <laughs> okay. There she is. Now we're on. Yay! All right, everybody, this is Aspen Garcia. Please, Aspen, share your amazing story. Tell us a little bit about your life before Plexus and your life now with Plexus. Okay, um, so I'm Aspen Garcia. I've had diabetes since I was four years old, um, type one, and celiac for over two years now, um, and it's very severe. So I have like a piece of bread that goes over my plate, and basically I would go to the ER. Um, and I had a lot of other undiagnosed issues um, that I constantly was doing testing for. I mean, really constantly, just various uh, tests and everything and nothing, no treatments or anything were recommended because I couldn't figure out what the heck was wrong with me. Um, and of course, I didn't want to start Plexus because I was like, oh, it sounds too good to be true. That's a bunch of nonsense. Um, but then I, I, I started it. And um, I mean, ever since then, like, I don't feel like I have to say, hi, I'm Aspen, I have diabetes and celiac, and I'm basically dying all the time, like I'm my own person again, which is uh, phenomenal. So um, I started Plexus in April, and since then, um, I'm at about a 50% reduction in insulin, and that's, um, it was slow at first, but then it's maintained that for a long time now, um, which is great. That's a huge savings. Um, I don't have, I didn't have to take my allergy meds for spring or summer. And I'm basically allergic to where I live. Like I'm severely allergic to uh, pine trees and junipers. So that's basically Flagstaff um, and all types of grasses. So basically I have to live in like Death Valley to survive apparently, but um, I'm not moving there. <laughs> so, um, and those were like year round allergies. So no seasonal allergies for me. I just kind of go big or go home, I guess, in my illnesses, um, is what I always did. So um, I also had really horrible side pain from inflammation uh, throughout my digestive system, and they couldn't figure out why or like if that was what the pain was caused, you know, caused from. Um, but ever since I started taking Plexus, uh, that was actually my only hope with Plexus, that it would help ease that pain just a little bit. And the first time I tried Plexus, um, that pain went away. So that was huge. And I haven't had it since. Like my husband would barely touch my back, like here on my side. And I would basically start crying because it hurt so bad. Like just, you know, touching it that much, like was <laughs> enough to um, just be horrible. So that was obviously disabilitating. I love hiking. I love kayaking, all sorts of stuff. Um, and I just wasn't able to do it because I was in constant pain. Um, so that's been huge. Um, I actually have enough energy 
energy and I feel good enough to exercise again, um, which is who I am. I used to be a um, Zumba instructor or certified to be a Zumba instructor and I was always overly active um, growing up, even though I was in constant pain, like I just sort of forced myself through it. Um, the past couple of years, it just kept getting worse and worse and I wasn't able to. And so Plexus came along and now I'm feeling literally better than I ever have in my entire life. Um, and I really thank God for Plexus. It's been amazing. Um, so in addition to that, um, I've been able to get a flu shot for the first time in years. My immune system basically um, wasn't up to snuff for getting even the dead cell like flu shots. Um, so that would put me under, just getting the shot itself would put me under for like two to three weeks of like horribly ill. Um, and this year I got it and no, I mean the next day I felt sick, but usually it was like a really long lag period where my immune system wouldn't even recognize anything. So I felt sick for one day and it wasn't even bad, but the next day I was like up and going. So apparently my immune system is as it should be because it's never happened. Like I've never been healthy enough to be able to say that. So that's, that's pretty big, pretty big deal for me. Um, and then I used to have really horrible um, pain in my muscles, like muscle pain. Stuff was a real challenge, I guess, in uh, college that happened a couple times where I was in class and I was just like, okay, why am I in so much pain? The sort of out of nowhere. Um, so that's gone. Um, and then monthly pain and acne is a thing of the past. So um, that's great. And no blood sugar spikes with that um, as well. I mean, I haven't really gotten sick since I started Plexus in April, which is a big deal for me. I used to call in sick all the time and just get everything like somebody would cough, you know, in a, another building and I would see it and I would be ill. <laughs> so um, I really haven't been sick since. So it's, it's really, really phenomenal. Um, so it's really nice and that, you know, saves me money by not having to miss all that work um, as well. And let's see, I haven't had to go to the ER. I used to frequent it because like I said, if bread went over my plate, basically I would have to go to the ER and that's my least favorite place in the entire universe. <laughs> so I'm glad not to, or, you know, frequent there. I haven't gone there once uh, since April for uh, minor cross-contamination and that's huge and I don't even have a reaction anymore um, so I mean that's that's a big big deal um, for me and obviously a huge savings but just I, I don't like the ER so <laughs> I don't want to go back there ever um, and hopefully I never will have to again um, let's see again I'm able to exercise again which is amazing um, and my immune system, like I said, has never been this good, ever. I mean, I've had diabetes since I was four. And basically, um, I mean, you never want to feel like a disease, but I certainly felt like I was diabetic and that's like who I was. And now it's like, I'm a person with you know, all of these things going on. You know, I'm able to do so much more now um, and have the energy to do it. So that's been wonderful um, and a true blessing. And I've lost 10 pounds without even trying. I didn't even really care about the weight loss side of, side of it, but um, that's just because I feel good enough to be myself and actually, you know, go outside and everything and do what I love doing. Um, so I, I feel healthy and, you know, super motivated, obviously. Plexus has helped in, you know, financial sense as well as health. So I've been able to open up uh, another business that I've been dreaming of. So it's all around, like, I really, thank God daily for all the blessings that I've gotten from Plexus. It's been amazing. So, and I, you know, Plexus for life for sure. <laughs> wow. Is all I have to say. I mean, type one diabetic, half your, you said half your units of insulin you're down now. What were you taking before? I was taking 38 and right now I'm taking 20. So just, I mean, it's minimally, above half um, or below half of reduction, but it's huge. I mean, oh, the yes. settings alone is awesome. <laughs> that, that's just incredible to me. Um, I love hearing testimonies from type one diabetics because we know that unfortunately you'll, you'll live with that for, for the rest of your life, but to see a reduction in your insulin, that's incredible. And then you were saying about celiac. 
for those that don't understand celiac, could you explain that just a little bit more? Um, I mean, it's really just, it's a lifestyle change. I loved bread. Like, I mean, that was a food staple for me. And I always thought celiac was like a weird thing that people just made up for like a dietary thing. And then I got it and I was like, okay, well, <laughs> that's karma or something. I don't know. But, um, this is, I mean, it, it was a huge adjustment. Like I've, the first six months, I think after I was diagnosed, I didn't think I could eat anything. And since obviously there's a lot of good choices and everything and I can cook again and, you know, figure things out and eat good food still. But I mean, bread's a huge deal and it's not even that it's, you know, in, um, pretty much everything. I mean, salad dressings, um, soy sauce, I mean, you name it, there's probably gluten in it. <laughs> so it's, wow. it's a big deal and it's extremely excruciating um, when you have celiac and you have just minor things that you're not even aware of. Sometimes it's like I would order uh, something or cook something to, you know, extreme um, carefulness and then still get a reaction. So it's, it's difficult, but it's become a lot better. That's just amazing to me. So I love that. Down on your insulin, your celiac sweater, pain-free, down 10 pounds, got your life back most importantly. And I'm sure for you and your husband, that's just incredible. No, it's, it's huge. So I, and I'm, I'm amazed. I mean, I'm a health major. So it's like, I know the ins and outs of every disease and how to, you know, treat it. And I ate healthy and everything. And just plexus was the missing piece in my life. Like I continue to eat healthy and stuff, but it's, it's made all the difference. It's amazing. Like truly. Oh my gosh. I, I love your story from the time I read it for the very first time when you posted it on one of our news feeds on the team page, I was blown away and I'm so thankful that you shared because I know tonight you have helped so many people and I know you're going to help people in the future by sharing what Plexus has done for you. And I know this video will be around for a long time to come to help others. And we thank you for, for taking time away from your busy schedule because I know you're incredibly busy out there in Flagstaff, Arizona. So thank you so much, Aspen, for sharing with us tonight. Yeah, no, thank you so much for having me. It was a blessing to meet you tonight. Have a great night. Thank you. So guys, let me just tell you, if that amazing testimony didn't just get you, I don't know what will, because our Plexus products are incredible, and you should have just heard that with Aspen speaking and sharing her awesome testimony. Oh my gosh, I just can't even get over her awesome testimony. Um, so guys, you know, tonight I'm just merely a host, so I'm going to turn this over to uh, Maddie Williamson, who's going to give us some great tips on things that she's been doing with her Plexus business to see it get up and growing. So Maddie, are you there? I know she's somewhere. Can you? Can you hear me? Yes, I can, Maddie. Okay, I just had to figure out that unmute button there, so. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm Maddie Williamson, um, Ruby Ambassador with Plexus, of course. And um, so I know some people probably think, oh, Ruby, you know, she's, she's built this team. But actually what I did was I built a team and life happened and it got crazy and I took some time off. And so, um, so recently we moved to a new area and I've had to kind of start back at square one. and. Um, I have an amazing team that's still with me, but for me personally, me recruiting and, um, and getting there, I'm starting over. So um, not to take away from my team at all, because they are amazing. Um, so what I have done is I, um, I started networking because I don't know anybody in this area. So we took a job transfer with my husband's work and knew, knew everything. So I started with like, I went down and talked to the chamber and got involved and just kind of asked where, what are the groups? What are people doing? You know, where can I network? And, um, got some ideas there. Um, I have not joined the chamber 
just because they don't, in my area, they don't do small businesses, but I know some people do. I have a sister that's an ambassador and she's part of her chamber. And I really, really recommend that if, if it fits for your business. Um, so anyways, what I did is I joined a women's networking business and um, I looked into a couple of other ones. And here's the thing about these networking businesses that I think, these not businesses, but networking groups. A lot of them are cutthroat. A lot of them you go to and you just push, 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 push what you have. And I kind of personally have shied away from that because I don't think we, I don't, think we're in that category. We don't need to push plexus. We don't need to walk into a room and throw up plexus on somebody. Um, we just need to share. We just need people to get to know us and just share. And so I don't think that every network market or networking group is right for our line of business. Um, so with that, I have the network group that I have joined um, with my women's group is it's just, that's what it is. 90% I bet are MLM companies. And guys, I take Celeste. Now this is totally out of my realm because I'm kind of a talker, but I really have taken Celeste Quinn's um, advice when she says god gave you two ears and one mouth everybody needs these products there's 90 million other multi-level marketing businesses out there and i have taken this um this group that i'm in and these women that i'm meeting and i'm asking them meet with me one-on-one -on -one. and again i'm not trying to convince them that our um our plan is better or our company's better or anything like that. I'm just trying to find out what they do, what their interests are. I'm, I'm making it about them, not about me, because chances are they're saying, I absolutely love what I do, but I'm tired. You know, I'm, I'm tired or my kids, I'm running all the time and I don't have energy or people need these products. And so I'm listening and you know, I'm supporting their businesses. They're supporting my business. It's never cost me a dime. Um, just because I'm learning what they do so that when I come across somebody that needs their product or their services, I can honestly pass along their name. And that's what, that's, what's so great is I'm building these relationships with these other women. Um, it's been fantastic. And I have to say that I have some new customers from, from doing this. Um, another thing that I've done is here in our local paper, they have been advertising um, different groups, diabetes groups, fibromyalgia groups, um, pain groups, and they meet once a month. And again, um, I'm not a hero. I'm not running in there on a white horse, saving the day. Um, what I do is I just, I've attended a couple of these meetings and I just do it so that I can educate myself. I can educate myself on firsthand diabetes and firsthand fibromyalgia and just kind of see what people are doing. And, and I'm honest with them when they say, oh, are you here? Do you have this? Do, what do you suffer from? Things like that. I say, no. I don't suffer from any of this. I have friends, I have customers, I have loved ones who do, and I'm just here to educate myself. From there, I'm building relationships. I'm building bonds with these people. Um, I I've, I've friend them on Facebook, you know, things like that. And I allow them to see what I post, see how I run my business and see more about me. Don't get me wrong, I hand out my business cards. I let them know what I do, but I don't push it on them. Um, I think that's, that's the difference. I've been in sales for 17 years prior to, real, uh, prior to Plexus, I sold real estate. I don't need to sell anything anymore. These products don't need to be, be um, sold, they need to be shared. Um, so anyways, 
I've done those a couple of things and really having um, great success in the fact that I'm making really great contacts. Um, has it grown my business? Customers, yes. Have I doubled my team and ambassadors? Absolutely not. But I'm planting seeds and that I know that they'll pay off. Um, let me just look through my notes really fast. So while, I'm tra so while I'm going to these places, and I'm talking like maybe one hour a month, you know, like I go to the diabetes group, one hour a month is all that took me, actually 45 minutes. So we're not talking like I'm spending days and days of my time doing all of this. Um, just here and there, meetings here and there, um, maybe once a week. So very, very doable. Um, so while I'm, I, I live out kind of in the middle of nowhere, so I travel, it's like an hour to town. While I'm traveling, I always try to have something, um, some type of educational thing to listen to while I'm in the car. So John, John Maxwell, Eric Worre, um, anything from any of our jewels, um, I really like, one thing that I've kind of, that I've, that I love, that I've actually started to incorporate is Molly Orr um, did a training about um, her, she did it with Michelle Thomas and them about like how, how come she's successful and what, what she's done to get to um, Diamond. And um, I made an Emerald board and just put, put how many people it's gonna take me to get to Emerald. And I hung it right on my back door, right as I walk out my garage. And so every day when I leave my house, I know that I need to talk to so many people to achieve that goal. And I actually have, it's so exciting when I get to take down a number and write a name, replace the number with a name. And, um, and I, once I started to do it, I thought, okay, this, this might be silly. You know, I'm hanging this poster up or whatever. But once I started replacing names with numbers or numbers with yeah, replacing the numbers with a name. It, it's exciting. It's fun. It drives me. It pushes me. Um, another thing I listen to is Sonia Dudley. And I listened to a really powerful call that she had about positive affirmations. And um, again, I thought, okay, this is crazy. I'm hanging up these signs all over my house. But what a difference it's made in my family. What a difference it's made in I've got... Um, little girls, little preteen girls, and to listen to them singing how beautiful they are in the bathroom, in the mirror, because I have a sign in there that says that you are beautiful. It's amazing. Um, those positive affirmations have been huge, and they have really kind of taken me out of my shell and kind of have given me the confidence that I need that even though I might be new, um, to this area, you know, what, what a difference it's, it's made. I, I have confidence that I can go out there and I can talk to just about anybody and feel confident in myself and feel confident in our products and our business. So I think, I think that about sums it up. <laughs> well, that's all I didn't ramble too much. No, you didn't ramble. I think you did a wonderful job. And I think you brought something very, very valuable to the table tonight because one, you talked about how positive these affirmations are, what they're actually doing for your home, not just for your Plexus business, but in your everyday life of your children and yourself. So that, that's huge. You know, um, personal growth, listening to these training videos, that's a, that's a must. And you're doing it perfectly in your car when you're driving from point A to point B, you're not wasting any time you're educating yourself. I love, love, love your board that you have that you talk about where you're taking and replacing numbers with names. I think that's fantastic. What did, you know, when Molly, I think I watched that same video, Molly has what, a board of 40? Isn't it one through 40? Didn't she say it's like 40 level ones to get you to Emerald, right? Yes. So you just have, yes. it's like yes. a bulletin board, right? And you have like sticky notes up there. They're like one through 40. And each time you pull one off, you put, your Monica or Susie or whoever in place of those numbers, right? Yes. Yep. Love it. 
And then on the bottom, on number 40, it says you are Emerald. <laughs> I so, love it. Yep. I love it. You're driven. And I love that you're networking. I love that you've joined groups. I love that you're out building relationships because that's what this is. This is relationship marketing. Awesome job. Amazing tips from our awesome Maddie Williamson. Guys, I think Thanks, she's Dusty. Thank you. I think you did a fantastic job. I think Aspen's testimony was shocking and awe tonight. I couldn't have had two better people on the call this evening. And I'm thankful for both of you for um, giving up your precious time from your families to share with us tonight. So guys, as always, we want to close um, our meetings with a quick prayer. So guys, um, let's just go there real quick. So um, Heavenly Father, we just want to thank you for this evening. We want to thank you for this time that you've given us together. We want to thank you for the amazing blessings and opportunities you have laid at our feet in ways of finances, in ways of business and helping others, in ways of bettering, bettering ourselves and bettering other people in our paths. Lord, we pray that you bring blessings down upon us in many, many different ways. And we thank you most of all for your wonderful son who died for us, Jesus Christ. In your awesome name we pray, amen. Guys, thank you so, so much for this evening. And I hope you are blessed. And I hope you use this video to help train your team and help your future customers understand what maybe Plexus could, what if it could do for them, what it has done for Aspen and what it is doing for Maddie and her business and her personal life. So guys, be blessed and we will join you next Tuesday night at eight o'clock. You guys have a, have a good night.